Sound is way more important than any fancy light or camera. No cinematographer, please, please turn them back on. And one way to level up your videos is with awesome sound effects. The workaround I used to do for managing and using sound effects was to make a default project that always had the regular sound effects that I used. But if I ever wanted to add in new ones, especially if I was mid project, I'd always have to open back up that default project file, add in the new sound effects that I just found and then save it and close it back up. And I would have to do this every single time. That was until I found out about Soundly, an app for managing sound sound effect assets. I've been using this software for over two years now and I literally use it in every single one of my YouTube edits. I'm not sponsored by them at all. I just genuinely love this software and felt like I wanted to show how it works just in case you hadn't heard of it because by the time you start using it in your edits, you're going to be like, oh, if only I knew about this before, then my sound effects would be way better and my workflow would be better. And that is exactly what's going to happen once I show you how to use it. Soundly is basically a search engine for audio files that you can organize with loads of different filters and also it has its own built-in massive sound effects library. So if you ever have an idea for some sort of sound effect, like some, some AirPods opening, great sound effect. Actually, I kind of broke it. <laughs> that cracking sound effect, perfect for what just happened right there. You can very quickly search for it in the Soundly library and then drag it into your edit. So it just makes the act of going through your edit, realizing, oh, there, that'd be a cool sound effect that could go there. Way more efficient because you don't have to troll the internet to download from dodgy sites. You can very easily just type it in, find which part of the waveform that you want, and then drag it right into your timeline. And then there you go. It's in your edit straight away. Okay, so let's boot up Soundly for the first time that you guys are seeing it. And right away, it's split into a few uh, windows that are really simple to use. So you've got libraries, which is basically Soundly's whole catalog of thousands and thousands of sound effects that you can you know, play back. So human footsteps. Whoa, he's gonna get me. There's so much you can find. And also more importantly, you can actually type it in. So bird flap, something I search for all the time. So whatever you want, you're gonna do like lady screaming. <laughs> get the idea. So you can search for all of these. You can also do things like add them to collections. So for example, I have my own collection specifically for my YouTube channel. So these are common sound effects that you might have heard if you're a veteran of the channel before, like that I've used for stuff. Whenever you see markers getting drawn on stuff, I've used that before. Things like that. That's a PewDiePie sound effect. He's used that in videos before. So you get the idea and then you can organize them into different categories like I have, you know, like game, slide, swishes. So you can basically find any sound effect, like the lady screaming one and then right click it, add it to collection and then make custom categories and then add it all in, right? So that is how you can keep everything super organized and you can just have a library that is built for you that you can refer back to and you don't have to wonder like, oh, where is that sound effect that I always use? You've just got it all organized and you always have a starred one. So if there's ones that you use like super, super often, then you can just add them into that if you want to quickly find them versus, you know, always having to go into these subcategories. So there's a lot of flexibility. That's the great thing about Soundly. Like you just have a lot of flexibility with how you can actually use the software. One really important note with Soundly, something that you should always do before you actually use it on your project is you should go into the settings and choose the folder location of where your sound um, elements are going to go. Because if you don't do this, they'll just end up in a random location and then you won't be able to find them. So what I always do, for example, is I'll go on current projects and then this is this project, assets, and then edit assets, sound effects, and I just put them in there, which means that whenever I use one of these sounds in my edit, it will instantly drag that file into Finder, just organized into that folder structure. But I'm gonna show you exactly how that works right now. So we're in a DaVinci timeline right now for one of my previous YouTube videos. And let's say, for example, that we are watching it through like fancy satchler, and we see this little like satchel. swoosh animation that I've done here, right? And we wanna do a swoosh to really sell it and just make the animation pop more. So what we do is we open up Soundly. I won't use my collection here just to give you an example of what it looks like if you just did it from scratch. So let's do a swoosh and then you can just go through and find the ones that you want. Maybe that one, it's a little bit little bit quicker. So the way that you actually choose the sound effect with Soundly is that you can't just drag this on and put it anywhere. Uh, which is kind of weird at first because you're like, why isn't it working? What you have to actually do is select the section of the waveform that you want. So if you actually did want the full clip, you just double click that and then you could drag it here. Or if you only want a certain part of it, you can just select this part that we, we already said that we like 
and then we can just drag that here, right? And then straight away, the file is in your actual editing software. Usually uh, I, what I would do, a little pro tip right here is undo what I just did. And if you want the actual sound effect to already be organized in, in a specific folder, you click this. So for instance, this is my sound effects folder that I've set up here in DaVinci Resolve. And then I just do the same thing, drag it here. And then as you can see, this actual sound effect file exists in this specific folder in DaVinci. So it just makes everything organized for you. And then if we want to reveal where this is, we can open that and then as you can see by the folder structure that's exactly what we set up in soundly when we went into the settings and told it hey this is where the files should go so they've already lived in there but as you can see there's actually like multiple ones because the occasions that we previously dragged it in and then deleted it if you delete them out of davinci it's still going to leave instances of that file in finder so you know, just keep that in mind that you might have multiple instances when you're like trialing out sound effects that you don't want to use. But as soon as you drag it into DaVinci, it's going to get saved in your finder. So yeah, just keep that in mind in case you don't want it to get messy. Maybe you can just go back and delete them or just leave it because, you know, their sound effects they are not like gigabytes and gigabytes. They're very small. <laughs> Another cool thing with Soundly is that you can download any other sound effect that you want and then you can add it into your actual Soundly libraries so that you can have access to it all the time. So for instance, you have your cloud library, then you have your local library. So with Soundly, you get 10 gigabytes of free cloud storage. So in this case, I couldn't find a sound effect that was on the Soundly library, but I found it online and then I downloaded it and then I put it straight into my Soundly library and now it exists there forever. So no matter what computer I log into, I can always access that sound effects and rather than, you know, trying to manage the file in some way. So yeah, in this instance, I needed this Metal Gear alert sound effect like that. So if I ever want to use that, you know, just grab all of that drag it in and then right away it is in my timeline probably doesn't make sense being there but you get the idea and then again remember because i dragged it in there if i go back into the sound effects library metal gear is there even though i deleted it so in this instance i don't need it i could just delete it out of there because I don't want to use it. There might be a few of you asking, why is this better than just using DaVinci's own power bins? Well, the main reason is because with Soundly, you have your own cloud library that, as I mentioned, you can access anywhere. And you also have your own resource for new sound effects. So you don't have to go online and, you know, try and find them in various um, situations. You just have one platform that contains all the sound effects that you want, all organized into libraries easily accessible from pretty much any computer that you use it. And actually the best thing about this is mainly workflow related because if you're in the middle of an edit and you have an idea for an animation and then you realize that you want to have the sound effects for it, you can just search it and find it and then just drag it in, you know, rather than being distracted by having to search for potential sites that might have the sound effect that you want to use. So keeping you in the flow, just having a software that exists rather than a Chrome browser that, you know, could lead you to many different distractions. <laughs> <laughs> that exist on the normal internet. Uh, that for me is worth the price alone. And speaking of the price, it's $14.99 a month, which, you know, is not cheap, cheap, but it's not super expensive. And if you want to get a month for free, just use the coupon code SDLY. This is actually not sponsored at all. I actually just noticed this on their website at the bottom. So I just thought I'd mention it in case you want to give it a proper try for yourself for a month versus, you know, just giving them $15 of your own money right away when you don't even know if you want to use it. Honestly, sound design is something that I actually really enjoy doing, but I started to hate it because of having to mess around with how, how to manage all these sound effects and stuff. And soundly helped to reignite my love in it just because it's so easy to find sound effects, put them in, manage and organize all your files. It just makes sound design what it should be, which is a super enjoyable and creative process for you. And maybe one day they'll actually sponsor me. Um, please soundly, I need the fun. <laughs> if you want to upgrade the creative apps you use, you should check out this video here where I share with you the seven creative apps that you should get downloaded right now. And click that subscribe button because if you do, epic sound effects are going to play whenever you're sat at your computer being all productive. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,